My Windows 11 installation is full of pre-installed Microsoft applications, Copilot and annoying ads. I want to get rid of all of that. A while ago I heard about this free tool called Winhands that promises to completely de-bloat and optimize your Windows 11. And while it's downloading let's quickly look at the features. Install or remove Windows applications and various different software. Optimize some settings. Customize some stuff. Configure. I'm kind of reading everything but not really telling much. It should be downloaded right now. Install for all users. Yes. I accept. Next. There's a portable installation and there's a regular installation. Click on regular. Next. Install. To complete installation you have to restart. Winhance is initializing. Winhance Steam Dark, please. This is the same as using Discord on light mode. Okay, this looks so much better. There's a bunch of applications which we can select to de-bloat and remove from our system. The ones that are in red, they are currently not installed applications. However, I have heard that Windows Update can bring applications back randomly, so it's advised to check even the uninstalled applications anyway if you really don't want them. I don't want any of this stuff. Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Store, OneDrive, Drive. I guess what I'm gonna try to do is remove as much as possible and let's click on remove selected items. These items will be removed, yes. After it's finished we are gonna check out the optimize tab and customize tab because I'm also curious what even are they. Okay, and it seems like the process has finished. We can see that everything that I checked before is now red. I can see that the Microsoft Store has disappeared and let's open the start menu. Everything is super clean. But why are these two here? Maybe I can remove these ones manually. Uninstall Xbox, uninstall LinkedIn. I have pretty much nothing left. Copilot, okay, that one is still here. But how does it work if I don't have the application? Or it doesn't? Okay. Copilot doesn't work anymore. Maybe I can disable it somehow, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm quite pleasantly surprised so far. And the whole de-bloating process was like two minutes maximum. Okay, let, let's check out the optimize tab. So in the optimizations tab, there's a bunch of things you can turn off, obviously, such as access features, app permissions, and there's even specific section for gaming optimization. Get tips and suggestions when using Windows. No. Show suggestions in notification center. No. Suggest how to get most out of your Windows. No. Show me suggested content in settings app. No. Okay, I, I think I, I'm done here. Let's check out the customization tab. Clean taskbar. Removes all pinned items from the taskbar. Apply. What did I just do? Okay. okay. Everything is so clean. It's almost, almost weird. Enable end task in taskbar. Oh, so it's like force quit applications. Okay. Clean start menu. Apply. Yes. And this one is so clean. Disable Bing search results. Yes. 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 A hundred times yes. Remove shortcuts suffix from new shortcuts. Yes. And it creates the shortcut without the shortcut text. Okay. Use classic context menu. Yes. I know it's the classic contextual menu. This is great. This is so great. Open file explorer to home. No, I wanted to open it to this PC. Okay. I didn't expect my, much from this customization tab, but it's actually so great. So what we have ended up with is some really quality of life enhancements, I would say. My file explorer now opens up to this PC, which is a very welcome change. My contextual menu, I have made it to be the old Windows 10 contextual menu, which is great. And then the big fish in the sea is that our Windows is now completely de-bloated. There's no Windows bloatware anymore. Copilot has disappeared somewhere, I'm not sure, did I remove it or it's just not here anymore. So I would say this application makes Windows 11 so much better, like a hundred times better. You might be interested in watching this video right here and I'll be back.